CS Fred Matiang says government not relenting on betting laws. Government will not allow rogue betting companies to operate in the country and will appeal parliament's decision to scrap excise duty on all bets. I have heard many debates on social media about resumption of betting. But I assure you we are not going back on the decisions we took on betting and gambling. President Uhuru Kenyatta is firm on this matter and we have his word to streamline this sector, Matiang I said yesterday. The CS said that though the executive respects the decision taken by parliament to scrap the 20 percenter excise duty introduced last year on betting, the decision will be reviewed. National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Yadani has already expressed his intention to seek an amendment to the Finance Act 2020 to introduce the excise duty on betting by December, Matiang said at Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, KICD, in Nairobi. Kenyatta signed the Finance Act 2020 into law, scrapping the 20 percenter excise duty introduced last year, as part of efforts to regulate gambling and boost government revenue. The amendment of the law caused an upset in government and the first casualty of the change was the MP who allegedly sneaked in the amendment despite being warned by Yatani. Kipkalian East MP Joseph Limo was kicked out as National Assembly Finance Committee chairperson for overseeing the change which saw the 20% excise duty levied on betting firms scrapped. The changes were an additional tax on helicopters, VAT addition on liquefied petroleum gas, LPG which was rejected and zero-rating maize and wheat as well as removing VAT on solar panels. On Friday, July 3, Matiang stated that the law on betting firms will be reintroduced as Kenyatta was adamant. All of you need to understand that this is something we made a decision on and our president has publicly expressed his thoughts on it and also lead from the front line. We are not going back on our decision, Matiang proclaimed. Yatani further vouched for sanity as betting had almost destroyed families and children. CS had earlier on lamented that betting activities in the country have adversely affected the social fabric of society, particularly the youth. The CS blamed the committee for sneaking in the changes. Kenyatta signed the Finance Act 2020 into law, scrapping the 20 percenter excise duty introduced last year, as part of efforts to regulate gambling and boost government revenue. We have not done anything in this sector for one year. The problem was at the licensing unit. But we have streamlined this and we are not going to allow someone one to register crooks from Eastern Europe to come and destroy our families and young people again, Matiang said. Last year, betting firms Betin and Sport Pesa closed shop following protracted court battles with the Kenya Revenue Authority over taxes.